Podcast. Do you guys hear the rain? Whenever Hallie's working, she always makes it so good. Brooklyn just texts me and goes, it's raining. Oh my gosh. It's been my favorite for like ever. But when we became friends, she was like obsessed with the rain as much as I was. So it was awesome. You would think that this early in the morning, there would be no one at the gym, right? The whole town and their dog is at the gym. Just to make things clear, I do not do this every single morning. Don't think I'm all put together. I only go to the gym like three times a week in the mornings. And I don't get Starbucks every morning. I just get it when I'm like in a good mood and it was raining. So I just had to. It just added to the happiness of my morning. I think we're going to hit boot today we hit booty practically every single day it looks like acne but it's just rain guys i promise good morning <laughs> that was not very good acting <laughs> i don't need to i love you <laughs> kudos to my little mom she always makes breakfast for us every morning i you're gonna say i burn everything because that's true too whenever i go to the gym this morning i'm always in a good mood so you should be grateful when i don't go to gym i'm like screwed good morning Emmy's been sleeping in my bed, taking up all the room, by the way, because Cecily's in town, so Cecily gets Emmy's room. It's been just so great sharing room with Emmy. She's just the best sister in the whole world. How'd you sleep, Emmy? Did you sleep good? <laughs> Am I annoying? Yeah. Oh, okay. If you don't know who Cecily is, Cecily was our nanny for the longest time when we lived in California. And since Gavin is leaving in like four days, he's leaving to go on his mission. She came into town to watch his farewell talk, but I'm so excited for Gavin. He's gonna learn so many new things. But now it's time to get ready for school. My skin is slowly but surely clearing up. There's still a bunch of like little marks, but they're a lot less red and noticeable. Good morning, guys. I hope that today is the best day you ever have. I'm using the uh, La Roche Posay face wash. You guys want to know what saved my face the most? It's this Paula's Choice Exfoliant. That's what made all of these like slowly bring down in redness. I just like put a little on my hand. Then I just use this on like the little zitty parts. Good morning, Gavin. We were actually just talking about you. How many days do you leave? Today, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday is my off days, and then Monday, Tuesday. So fast! I use this avocado eye cream. And then my favorite lotion. If there is one, if there's two things that I recommend that you buy out of this video, it's this Paula's Choice Exfoliant and this freaking sunscreen, especially the tinted one. As you can see, I look pale AF right now, right? However, if I massage a little dollop into my skin, I already look a little bit more tan. It's not like a lot, but I'll take what I can get. And it's also a sunscreen, so it's like so good for you. Everything that I use in this video is linked in my Amazon storefront if you guys wanna check it out. But yeah, that is my little skincare routine. I have a little fridge that I keep like a guava shot and stuff in. Okay guys, let's do a get ready with me French toast edition. Makeup is my favorite part. Today we're just gonna do like my normal makeup routine. I pretty much do this every day unless I'm feeling more. I'm also running out of this kind, but it's so unnecessarily expensive. And then if you guys wanna know a trick to blending out, it's a brush. And then I use this bronze goddess to add a little bit more shine. Also, all of my makeup products are also linked in my bio. You know those days where you just like are at school and you don't like feel like just doing work and you just feel so unmotivated? That was me yesterday, so I didn't really get a lot of work done. So good thing today I feel motivated so I can just get everything done. Now I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury blush. I usually just like put on the high points like that. Once the base is done, I spray a little bit of setting spray. I usually just like alter between these two, but today I'm thinking I'm gonna do the glass spray. Let's just cross our fingers that today is a good mascara day. I'm using the Lash Sensation. Okay, it's looking pretty good today. Anastasia Brow Gel. I have like a small feeling that setting spray doesn't do anything, but I just tell my brain that it does something. So apparently, apparently, the ingredients in dry shampoo are bad for your hair. This is my favorite, but I guess it has like propane in it and alcohol, which aren't good for your hair. I honestly don't know. I just listen to whatever I hear on TikTok. But I found this like natural dry shampoo way. It's half cocoa powder and half cornstarch. If you guys have tried this, let me know if it's like 
good. I did try it yesterday, and the only thing that I don't like about it is my hair does smell a little bit like chocolate. But basically, you just put it in your roots, and it's honestly kind of fun, like, with a makeup brush in your hair. I'm just going to let that sit while I put my clothes on, and I'll let you guys know. This is the outfit for today. We got lots of denim going on. I got this denim jacket from a thrift store and then this black sweater from Urban Outfitters. Look, you guys have a whole freaking stand. But then I just have on some denim jeans with my docks. It's very chilly today, so this outfit is very fitting. But my hair is sat. I'm going to massage it in a little bit. Okay, it looks pretty good. Very volumized, but hopefully it doesn't get greasy throughout the day. We are ready for school. I've currently been reading The Hunger Games, and it's been awesome. This freaking weather is beautiful. Good morning, Poopy. Hi. Good morning. I'm actually mad at you for pooping in our bathroom, but it's fine. French toast. Ooh. I think I'm going to move to Seattle because it looks this pretty every day there. I just love the trees oh, and the dark clouds. Anyways, we're at school right now. You know what, today I'm going to decide to like school. I watched this TikTok yesterday that was like, we always are trying to fill our life with good experiences, good things, good everything, right? And we as individuals decide what's going to be a good experience or not. The example she used is rain on your wedding day isn't bad. You decide that it's bad. I would love rain on my wedding day. Yeah, same. But it like just depends on the person. Like you can decide whether an experience is a good experience or a bad experience. Like that's up to you. Anyways, the point I'm trying to get here is try to make today a good experience. Think of something you usually hate and try to think of the good things in it and turn it into a good experience. That's what I'm going to try to do today. Instead of actually hating my government class, I'm going to try to be like, you know what? It's fun learning about the constitution. It's kind of cool knowing my bill of rights and my amendments which it actually is kind of cool and all those things it's just hard to listen to because the vocab is so different what about you and me i'm going to make my third hour good today because it's my least favorite class yeah but anyways i hope you guys have a marvelous day